Dylan Brooks in Memphis. Uh, his time there is over. Were you surprised uh, when the report came out that the Grizzlies said basically under no circumstance, not basically, under no circumstances will Dylan Brooks be back with the Memphis Grizzlies? Yeah, I mean, I, I was very surprised by that. I mean, not only is that sort of bad form in um, in employer-employee relations in general, but, I mean, they're throwing this guy under the bus. Um, even even if he spun out of control for a couple weeks there of, of the postseason, I mean, this this you know Dylan Brooks has been a helpful piece for them. He was he was really important in in previous you know playoff uh, toes dipped in the water last year and such. And I, you know I thought he was, I did he did a very creditable and at times thankless job for them this year. He accepted that role as a three and D guy and he, he guarded the other teams most potent scorers on many nights. Um, he allowed Jaron Jackson Jr. to thrive as a, as a help defender and a rim protector and, and win the Defensive Player of the Year award. You know, Dylan Brooks, uh, it was ill-advised. I was standing right in front of him when he made the comments about LeBron uh, in the post-game locker room in, uh, in Memphis. And in real time, I mean, it, it was as if you could hear, while he was talking in front of me, I could hear in my head, Oh, this is a huge mistake. Do not do this. You know, you are going to live to regret this. Um, and, you know, apparently he's, he's, re- he's going to regret it in ways beyond what he would have thought. Look, it would have been easy for the Grizzlies to just let free agency happen. Uh, in the meantime, they could have, you know, lied to um, media people and just said, well, you know, we're, we'll certainly be competitive with Dylan and, you know, we want him to come back and, and stick to a, Nope, under no circumstances um, policy uh, internally. Um, yeah, I know stuff can leak out, and I guess in essence this did leak out. But um, was it? See, I'm still wondering: was it a quote or was it a characterization by someone who reported it? If you have, if you have management there or the owner of the Memphis Grizzlies saying under no circumstances with quote marks around it, that's one thing. If it's a characterization by somebody, you know, tweeting out their version of the Grizzlies stands on Brooks, even if true, you know, in essence, but under no circuit, I can't, I can't beat uh, somebody up unless I know that's exactly what someone said. Now they could right. have just said, look, we're done with him. Um, he can go out there and find something better. We need to make a change of the, that might imply under no circumstances, but that's pretty cold and harsh language. If it truly was said by an official Grizzlies person, then, you know, I think they're going to hurt themselves. They're going to hurt themselves in, in free agency with other NBA players. Who wants to go, um, you know, work for, play for an organization that after you bust a gut for them will, you know, sort of, you know, put you out there like that and, and do you wrong. I, I just, I think it, uh, there was no profit in it for them to do this. And they got a little emotional and carried away. Um, and I, I, I think that they've got some damage control to do as a result. And Dylan Brooks hasn't even hit free agency. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.